Hey everyone, welcome to Slater's Risk Game. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of something that literally uh, just arrived at my front door. I was actually preparing to do a um, uh, full review of a, for another watch. And then I just happened to step outside, saw this package had been delivered, uh, was very excited about it. Uh, this brand is, uh, it's been around a long time, but I feel like it's very underrated. And you can get their watches for like 60 to 70% off on a great market. Uh, but they have, I think, pretty good watches. So this is the first one I picked up. So let me go ahead and unbox this one for me. Oh, just a second. Here's the receipt. I moved it to the side. Got a lot of this here, little stuff in the way. There was, I'm going to get all this little stuff here. to the side all right so here you see the white outer sleeve and here's some information on the back here I don't think that's the model number but I could be wrong all right very heavy box all right let's just put this to the side and here's the brand. This is a Balm and Mercier. Uh, they have a lot of different product lines. They have the Classima, the Rivera, the Clifton, the, the Copeland. Uh, I know they have at least four lines. I think they may have five. But kinda, I've seen their watches, but they, you can get a great deal on a great market. But this is a pretty high-quality looking packaging, typical Swiss packaging. But I like these uh, this packaging. All right. So this is Balm and Mercier. Let's go ahead and take this off. Your ears the flap. Okay, gotta turn around. Here you see the uh, the flap here. You pull it down. All right. And here is an instruction book. Pretty nice. Very should be very legible. You have the different languages here. It's like nine or ten different languages. Pretty nice here. Just flip through this one. I bought this gray market, so I don't expect to see a warranty card in here. Okay, but I put this to the side. I put this here. Nice box. It looks like it's very high quality box. I'll take this and move it. So here is the Balm and Mercier box. I have a lot of watches. This is the first box I've seen that had this type of finishing. This is the back of the box here. I don't see the model number uh, indicated anywhere on this uh, box. Now we'll go ahead and open it up. All right. So here is the watch. This is the Balm and Mercier Clifton Dual Time. Okay, and let me take a look. All right, this is model number 10302. So I got the little tag here. I don't think there's anything else in here. I think that's it. Like I said, I got the instruction booklet. And talking about some great market, typically you don't get a warranty card. Pretty interesting. Uh, packaging, I like it. Uh, you see this little, I guess this is the phi sign or phi sign. It's like a, the Greek alphabet. I like it. High quality uh, box. But here's the watch here. This is what you're looking for. So I was looking at getting another watch. Uh, actually, I was thinking about getting a, a, an Omega DeVille, a black leather strap with a black dial. 
And it, the Omega DeVille had an ETA 2892 movement. The older DeVille started like 3800. The new ones, I think, like 42. But I got this for a lot lower. I discussed the MSRP and the acquisition price when I do the full review. But this here is on a black alligator strap. So let me just uh, remove the tape. Okay, so here's the watch with a remove. So great looking watch, uh, black dial. You had a red 24 over the 12, and you got the red dual time. You see automatic. See the forehand movement. This watch here has this black alligator strap. And I do like it is pretty high quality. And I do think the leather is wrapped around, so this is very high quality. Sometimes with a leather strap, you'll get it cut. On the on the on the on the side right, you see where it's been cut, or they put some wax on it. But this is actually, I think, leather. And here's a ETA twenty eight ninety three movement here. Okay, so stainless steel. You see the Clifton. It has a decorated rotor. So pretty nice. I like this one. Model number. I think the model number again is ten three zero two. Like they did some decorating on the movement. This is the ETA 2893. And see this Bowman Merced leather strap. Yeah, good quality leather here. A lot of leather too. Let's see if we can give it a wind to get it going. There it is. So now you see the second hand move, moving right now is near the 12 o'clock. Had to just give it a little bit of a whine. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Like I said, this is something that I would be wearing to some black tie events. Black uh, leather strap, uh, alligator strap with a black dial. Very formal. Uh, this would be like a very formal watch for me. Stainless steel, so not too flashy. So people will be paying attention to you and not the watch. I don't know the specs, but it's not that thick. And it's kind of, you see the, the lugs are curved down, good finishing. Like you see some high polished finishes, but also some brushing. So it's like high, pod, high polished and satin finishing. Pretty good. Once again, another look at the case back. ETA 2893. All right, bear with me. I'm going to actually do a wrist shot. So let me put this down and we'll do a wrist shot. Right now, I'm wearing my Bulova Maquino, but getting ready to do a wrist shot right now. Just bear with me for a sec. Okay, so here's what the watch looks like on the wrist. Very nice, very elegant, black leather strap. So I just want to do this unboxing. I'm going to do a full review in a few weeks. Sapphire Crystal. Nice luxury watch, and you get it for a pretty good discount for a brand from a brand that's been around since 1830. So thanks for watching this video. Please continue to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll bring you another video soon. All right, thanks, and enjoy your day.